What's up, boys? Weekend League action. This is the last weekend league of the year. Rest in peace to Madden 20 Weekend League. I will tell you it's been nothing but a sweat fest. But that's why they watch, man. If you want to watch me play these games every night, twitch.tv slash dub dot. That link is below. All the social medias, you guys know where to find them. And this was the first five. Normally the first five to ten games are super, super sweet. And I'm playing my man Gauchi. Gauchi, Gaucho, Gaucho. I played this guy on YouTube videos, on stream, probably upwards of ten times this year. He's a pretty good player. Up and coming player, man, he's really a pain to deal with. And I, I want to talk about what I think is, is some of the best offenses this year. Obviously, the run is such a big part of Madden 20. And defending the run, you have to put all hands on deck to defend the run. So what people do, I think is super effective, is when they take a hot route master, they take a, a mobile quarterback now, and they have two wide receivers with all abilities decked out and they pass out of running formation. So they're forcing you to be in run defense. You can't be in two, three, six. You can't be in, you know, three, three, five, normal, whatever. You can't be in heavy pass defenses because you still have to respect the most powerful thing in Madden 20, which is the dive and the stretch. So it makes it really hard to continually play pass defense if you're stuck in two man under, having to spy your safeties to stop the run, or you're stuck in just base coverages. Because I'll be honest, these wide receivers with abilities are impossible to guard. They never drop the ball. Quite the opposite from the regs gameplay I've been showing you guys as well. So they're really a pain in the ass to guard, and it's going to be a challenge throughout this game. I want to throw around a bunch of different defenses. So, like I said, let's see if we can get this done. Let's see if we can pull this win out. Like I said, I've probably played this guy upwards of 10 times on a leaderboard so far. Really tough opponent when it comes to the mutt head-to-head -head right here. He's going to run a little nickel normal. Nickel normal is tough because it can be palms. It can be cover two. It can be an all-out blitz. It could be a bunch of those different things. So, so someone mixes this up well. It's really hard to play against. You guys know match is one of the toughest defenses to pass against as we get sacked right here. The match coverage is confusing. It's it's I can't even tell you what it does most of the time. So, I mean, it, it's definitely going to make it tough on me. Along with that, with a cover three cloud or something along that nature. But we get to an early third and 12. I throw this underneath just to get half of the yard. So we have a fourth down here. Uh, we're going to find our way to get out of the pocket with Michael Vick. Roaming dead eye. We hit the in route right there. Possession catch. Nothing greedy right here. He stops the run pretty good. So that's all I had to see. Next play, we're going to look to go up top. Tyreek Hill, the fastest wide receiver in the NFL. Touchdown, Baja, up top, Mike Vick to Tyreek Hill. That's how you bust match coverage. Feeling good, 7-0. It's always great. So we're kicking off, man. Uh, like I said, defending these running sets when somebody wants to pass is a pain in the ass. I don't know if I've gone to an all-out blitz. Right now, I'm going to start with a little bit of coverage. I am in the um, 3-3-5 wide. For me, that's the best run defense. So I want to stay out in that. But you see just two crossing routes. Uh, I had to pick one to guard. In my defense, I did normally I like to try to guard the wide side of the field because they have more space to run if they catch the ball there. But he did hit me with a big play right there. So now I'm kind of done. I'm going to go to try to all blitz scheme, see how he handles the pressure. And I'll tell you, these guys are getting kind of hip at handling the pressure. You know, right here, I'm trying to blitz everybody. He just puts two wide receivers out, rolls out, throws it up. That's another, you know, benefit of those passes or those running formations. They have six blockers on top of the five offensive line. So it's hard to get pressure if they can only put two wide receivers. Because honestly, if you give the quarterback time, these two wide receivers, if on the right route, are pretty unguardable. Right here, Michael Vick, uh, his scrambling is unguardable. You're gonna have to go ahead and spy somebody pretty fast if you wanna keep up with Michael Vick. Uh, second and one, we go up top again. Terrell Owens, boom, on Jalen Ramsey. I like that matchup. Uh, so we get inside the 20-yard line, looking to score here. Toughest spot on the field to score, the inside the 20. Um, looking to pass, roll out right here. And I, you guys see B. You guys see B. Don't lie and say he wasn't open, but he went to the front of the end zone. Because you saw him. In my mind, I said, please go to the back pylon. He went to the front pylon, and we throw a pick. So I want you guys to see what I saw, that's all, and just not kill me in the comments like you guys always do because he, he looked like he could have made a play right there. So we turn the ball over. Uh, that's all right. We're going to play some defense. I'm, I'm still going back to blitzing, and it's just really hard to guard these wide receivers when you're blitzing, man. You have to really get home. 
um, as he dumps it off here to Christian Okoye. And I, I get no idea fullbacks that fast. Baja, Christian Okoye. That's rough. Then they can always do the scumbag skeeve tactic of snap and throw into the running back when you're blitzing everybody. So I'm 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 be honest. Right now, at this point of the game, I'm not feeling comfortable on defense. I'm not feeling comfortable with coverage or pressure or anything. It's just everybody's boxed right now on offense. I'm I'm feeling like I'm up against it. I'm feeling like I'm gonna be in a sweat. And obviously it's a sweat. It's a YouTube video, so we're gonna get there. But Michael Vick, who can make a play first down? Uh, just like I said, the run is just really not an option against the way he plays nickel normal. I'll tell you, I like my pass protection knowing we're going up top again. Baja Julio Jones. Now, that's one thing about dagger, man. I'm, I hope you guys incorporate a dagger a little bit to your game. If you run it all the time, they'll get used to it. Uh, and they'll be able to, you know, make crazy adjustments. Right there, he obviously, my tight end that's normally on a drag, he kind of lost responsibility for him. Put him on a streak. One misstep, that's touchdown. So that's why I like doing that. Next play, we're going to get this interception, but it's out of bounds. You know, we don't get anything like that. Nothing nice. Here we go again, but this time right at him. The ball does not lie, Chad. Taylor Mays right there, middle of the field. Give me that. It's returning it inside the 10-yard line. So once again, we got first and goal again. What are we going to find? Where are we going to go? Michael Vick gets sacked on first down. That's okay. We're going to take... Some of his timeouts away so he can't score. Boom, up top, Calvin Johnson. Now, I did see cover two. That's why I went to that play. It's a fade to the outside. I put a flat route, tried to hold down that flat route, high ball to Calvin, get a little bit of separation. That's all it takes. They're not going to be able to compete with Calvin Johnson on that high ball. Big play to go up seven right there. So, but he has a little bit of time, and then there's no runoff here. He hits the little corner route to Gronkowski, gets out of bounds, one timeout left. Uh, can't give up any big plays. He's going to roll out, try to corner route. We're going to get another pick. No, that's completed because post flag elite will always complete that. So it's 13 seconds. Dumps it off over here to Eric Dickerson. Gets out of bounds on a 24-yard line. 10 seconds left. Goes to the corner route and the crossing route. And I can't cover any of these guys. Touchdown, Julio Jones. I just give up seven points in, what, 27 seconds? Pitiful defense. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry you guys had to watch that. That was bad defense. So I'm telling you, I'm not feeling good on the defensive side of the ball. I'm not. Uh, last play of the half. Got to make something happen. And Julio Jones does that. Get back to the middle. Get a block it. No. It looked good, though. It looked good. It looked like it was going to be something special there. But we're kicking off in the second half. Like I said, I don't feel that comfortable on defense. I really don't. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna adjust. We're gonna make some plays on defense. Always believe that, man. It, I know I'm a great defensive player. I can make some plays on defense. Roll out corner route first play. Pick no out of bounds again. Night train does not have a sideline dead eye or a sideline toe tapper. Does not have that. Uh, we should get some picks with night train so far in this game. Next play we get a sack. Boom. Keith Bullock right there. Uh, Anthony Barr makes a play. Boom. Knocks the ball away. Third and sixteen. Uh, we're going to get him in the pocket right here. Throws the corner route. Knocked away by Night Train Lane. Fourth and 16. He's going to punt the ball. So, right back where we want to be. Beautiful punt, but bounces in the end zone. Get the ball in the 20. Let's put a drive together. Let's go ahead and take this lead. Michael Vick, get up out of there then. Get a cool 15 yards. Always take the scrambles when they're available, especially if they don't spy. Make them spy because when they spy, it takes away from their pass rush. And right here, we're going to do it again. Get a couple yards, just get a cool six, second and four. Make the down distance easier for you. We're going up top again. Calvin Megatron Johnson, come here. Big boy football. Once again, the, the run is bagged. I should really, I'm wasting plays running the ball. Um, but I try to go a little tight slots here. Cook something up, but just a little bit too much pressure. Just tried to hug that pocket like I would do with a pocket passer and regs, but did not work out. We roll out here, corner route, touchdown, nope can't get my feet in. I don't know what it is with this game. Cannot get my feet in this game, whether it's on offense, defense, special teams. I can't get a toe tap to save my life. We go up three, 24 to 21. It was 21 to 21 at halftime. I mean, we're settling down on the defensive side of the ball. One more stop. I promise we're going to get out of here. We're going to win this game. Got to make that stop as he has the slant right here. I did it. Can't catch a pick right there. So, all right, second down. Same type of concept. Slant everything goes to the crossing route. Boom. That's what I mean. Two crossing routes, man. They have all day, which he is because I'm kind of in run defense the whole time. Tough to defend these wide receivers. Throws a flat route a little bit early right there. 
Uh, there we go. We're, we're getting some. We're getting somewhere now. We're playing a little bit of coverage, putting the right cup, putting the right zones, the right man covers out there on the field. Um, I know I'm eventually going to do that. Eventually, scream on third down. Boom. Get him to a fourth and 16, 17. He's going to punt the ball right here. Fourth quarter. Put a drive together. Go get seven. It's GGs. That's how I feel right now, and that's that's what we got to do. First play, we're going to roll out corner route. Get this rat catch and. I'm telling you, my people just have their feet are just magnetic to the out of bounds line right now in this game. Uh, next play, we get sacked by uh, Khalil Mack, I believe that was. Next play, we're gonna roll out, look for nothing, try to make something happen with it. Stay in bounds, keep that clock running. We get a big third down right here, and we're actually going to roll out, hit the dagger route, roll into my right. Oh, that was a beautiful throw by the best quarterback in Madden, Michael Vick. Nice play right there. Uh, closing in on a two-minute warning. We're going to scramble, get sacked right here. We're on conservative at this point of the game, so we're not going to fumble that as long as it's in the pocket. Next play, corner route. Boom, and we keep the clock running. Get to the two-minute warning. First down, good guys. So now we're going to try to run, take some time off the clock, um, control the game. If I got to kick a field goal, I will. Dump it off over here. I kind of want to chuck the ball to Calvin again, but I don't want to risk getting completion. I want to take all his I want to take all his timeouts with him. Uh, this play really nowhere for me to go, so I took this sack just to take his timeout. Boom. So we're gonna take this field goal. And I said in the chat, man, you guys should join these chats live. Seriously, I said, you know, I don't like where I'm at right here, but I'm here. You know, you might not like the situation you're in, but you got to make the best of it. We're up six. Um, a little nerve wracking, but we're gonna play defense. We're really, we're really settling down to the defensive side of the ball we're getting used to tendencies we're getting used to route combinations we're getting used to what zone and what coverages he doesn't like right here absolutely nobody open we're closing in a minute left in the game and we are absolutely strapping this offense right now third and six two streaks in a flat we're all over it we're going to send the spy somehow josh allen gets away from shazier right here and drags him for an extra yard fourth and one he's going to go for it he's going to hit this crossing route right in front of my face and get out of bounds oh my gosh that one hurt bad but we're still in good shape we're still in good shape nowhere for him to go with the football right here send the spy get the sack the time is running 30 seconds on the clock hits me with a spike right here not the worst thing to do get to a third and 15 third and 20 actually boom nowhere to go again send the spy go get him that's going to be GG's in the chat because he gets stuck on the spike. Clock is going to run out. That's how you give up 21 points in the first half and zero in the second. If you like this gameplay, man, if you enjoyed what I'm doing with my mutt content, with my gameplays, everything, please hit that like button. Feel free to subscribe. We are going to keep the foot on the pedal and the pedal to the floor.